Hey everyone, Kelly here with The Feathered Heart. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to show you how I did these um, sketched uh, watercolor thumbnail pieces. I'm also going to show you um, a few of the other watercolor pieces that I have done. And um, at the end of this video, um, in the description box below, you will be able to find all of these available for a digital download on my Pink Moon Whimsy Etsy shop. So I started out just sketching out um, a monarch butterfly, um, which is what I um, wanted to do different like um, views of the detail in the wings. Um, and it just kind of morphed into these other um, sketches of um, monarch inspired um, flower petals um, and I just really loved the idea and so I just started to go with it um, so I sketched all those out and then I um, took my color palette that I wanted to do which was the blues and the oranges and um, I just started out with the um, like background area around the um, images themselves and just started um, I put down some water first um, to wet my page and then I went in um, with the blue that you see here um, and I decided if you see the wing that I'm painting right now um, I had decided to kind of do an inverse um, version so instead of the, like the orange colors being on the wing I wanted the blue color to be in the wing and then the um, blue and browns and stuff on the outside um, so um, like I said, it's, it's whatever you want it to be. Just, you know, listen to, you know, whatever you're feeling and just go with it. Um, and I really love how these all ended up, um, turning out just by, just by following whatever my heart's desire was in that moment. Um, so yeah, we're just doing some watercoloring here. I think that I'll just, um, let you guys kind of watch the process and um, I'll kind of come back in whenever I feel I need to do a little more um, commentary, but just watch and enjoy and I'll be back in a moment. this stage in uh, the painting process um, you can kind of see that it's what I like to refer to and what a lot of artists will refer to um, as like the ugly stage um, you can't really you know imagine just quite yet exactly how it's all gonna turn out but you just have to trust the process and know that the further you go with it um, and you start adding in the detail down the road um, that it all will start come to, coming together so just know that there's an ugly process no matter what you're doing um, or there's an ugly stage and you just have to trust it keep going um, just you'll persevere through it and um, it, you know your paintings will end up um, you know where you want them just you just got to trust the process And now I'm starting to do um, the orange color um, on this particular butterfly and uh, I do apologize for all the shaking the uh, the closer up I go um, it just really shows the shaking um, of my table a little more um, and I do apologize for that but um, but yeah here I'm just you know I started out with like the light orange and then I went in with um, like a lighter watered down version I think of the burnt sienna and then I went back in with a little bit of a um, a less diluted version of the burnt sienna and like just all of those textures and variations in the coloring just really brings out um, 
some of that detail really pretty, um, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's just just so much fun to just play around. Okay guys, so um, I have gotten all of the watercoloring done and I'm pretty happy with it. Now I'm gonna show you um, the inking to, be, uh, to bring back out all the detail of the sketching that was there before um, and just darken some things up and really uh, just make all the details pop a little more. I'll show you this one, I think, and then I'll probably do time-lapse again uh, for the rest of them just to save on time. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far and, um, let's just get into some inking here. And again, these lines don't have to be perfect. You're kind of just bringing a little bit more, um, detail back in and bring it in. So like right here, there's a split in the wings from the top and the bottom of the wing and you can't see it because of the way the water coloring is, but I'm going to use my black ink to kind of bring that detail back out. So I'm pretty sure comes right here so you don't have to be perfect and to be honest like the messier sketchy look is kind of uh, you know my my preference really I do apologize for my sniffles I have a Allergies are kind of hitting right now. And then where all these like little spots on the butterfly, they have uh, spots on their body like that. I mean, I didn't capture it like perfectly, but that's okay. That's not what we're here for. We are here to just kind of make all these details pop again. I'll tell you what, let me actually bring you in closer here. So there we go. That's easier to see what we're doing here. So And I think so far for my first attempt at doing this, um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with the results. And we'll see, you know, how this goes once we get it completely done here. And so now you can see where some of these white spots are. The black ink is really going to make those pop. I think that's what I'm going to enjoy the most right here. These these spots. Uh, time lapse and get the rest of these inked up and then we will see um, the before there you go and then 
and I will show you the after. So here is the finished um, pieces with all the inking done and you can see that it just kind of gives a finished look to everything. I mean you can go further and add in like with white gel pen and add in white or um, you can even do some stamping to add some additional texture to um, the rest but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now um, and I wanted to um, peel off the tape so you guys can see um, what it looks like without um, the tape on there um, there's something satisfying about pulling off the tape we're gonna just start pulling off and um, I think this is just some like cheap washi tape that I bought like forever ago I mean and it does really well look at those crisp lines I mean there's like zero bleed I'm super super like happy with how this tape does um, and you can just see how pretty these look with the white border it really just makes them look even even prettier there we have it I am like super super happy with how those came out guys um, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed um, this video and um, if you guys have any questions, um, just leave them in the comments below. I will try to put all the information that I can um, in the description box so that you guys know um, what like paints I used, what pen I used. Um, and like I said, it's honestly, I believe this was just a like dollar store pen, um, a roller ball. Um, and I just, I really like it. It's a 0.7 millimeter, um, so it is a little bit um, on the thicker side for line work. I will have these available um, for download. Um, so just click on the link in the description box. It'll take you to um, my Etsy store, uh, Pink Moon Whimsy. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope to see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. It really just helps uh, my channel grow. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.